At a small airport outside Washington, D.C., it could be just another corporate jet. But Josh Ferguson, who lost a leg to a roadside bomb in Iraq last year, knows that on board going, is precious cargo. Uh, Ferguson is undergoing therapy at Walter Reed Hospital in Washington. Wife Danielle and one-year-old Madeline have been with him, but five-year-old Josh Jr. and three-year-old Corinne have been in Minnesota with grandparents. This family reunion is something Josh and Danielle thought they could only dream about until they heard about Veterans Airlift Command, an organization that offers free flights to injured servicemen and women and their families. I can't even express. Appreciate it. Well, it's, it's my pleasure, I'll tell you. It's, it's, it's the least we can do for what you guys have done for us, so anytime. Thank you. Veterans Airlift Command has now flown about 325 of these missions. The pilots are all volunteers. They use their own planes. They even pay for their own fuel. Retired businessman Paul Wood says one trip can cost him up to $5,000, but he can't think of a better way to spend his money. Anything that we can do to help them, uh, you know, I'm more than happy to do it. The organization was founded two years ago by Vietnam vet Walt Fricky. I spent six months in the hospital and I got back from Vietnam. That, he says, is when he learned the lesson of a lifetime. I was actually going downhill, and when my family arrived, I made an immediate turnaround. Danielle Ferguson can hardly speak when she's asked how grateful she is to have the family together. You can't express it? No. Why? Because it's hard to go from be to choose between being a mom and a wife. Veterans Airlift Command says they have hundreds of volunteer pilots standing by waiting to show America's injured warriors what Josh Ferguson has learned. This guy right here, he's, uh, <clears throat> you're more comfortable, you're, it gives you something to fight for. That family and healing go hand in hand. Chip Reed, CBS News, Wheaton, Maryland.